Hi everyone, welcome back. This is actually in front of my year 11 math class and I've made up some questions we're going to have a look at. So I don't normally when I'm teaching in front of my class go, hi everyone, welcome back, but I'm looking and they're all over there. So I've written up this question, prove the following. Let's have a look what you can do. Of course you could start with the left hand side first or you could start with the right hand side first. What makes this one obviously the left hand side? Because we can expand it. Yes, that's all it is. I like that. So left hand side is 4 cos of x. Now, I am going to talk about the fact that we normally call that A and call that B. What's it going to be? I'm going to put 4 and I'm going to put a bracket there. 4, so inside the bracket we're just going to have what I call, when we're using cos with two angles inside, I just write cos, cos, sine, sine. The next thing I write is a plus for this formula becomes a minus when it's cos. Do you know that off by heart? Mm -hmm. And then we write the x first, the pi and 6 second, the x third, and the pi and 6 fourth. And then we work out what that's going to be. And what have we got there? Now I'll leave the 4 outside. I can expand it and do that sort of stuff. And I'll leave it there to start with. So we've got cos of x. Now, how many people watching this wouldn't know what cos of pi and 6 is? I've got to presume that people know that, don't they? By the way, if you didn't know, that's just 180 on 6, which is, ah, which is 30 degrees. A lot of people don't know their pi and six, but do they know cos of 30? No. Yes, cos of 30. What do I do for cos of 30, which you don't do? I think you don't do. You use the finger method, don't you? I just know it. You just know it. No, not for heart. So a lot of people write that as a table. I still write it this way, which does, I know it does at least add his head in. So I just put a one or two on the root three there. We're talking about the cos of 30, so I just can look at that and go root three on two. Adjacent and hypotenuse. Root 3 and 2, and we've got a sine x. And now I'm going to go to sine of 30. So the sine of 30, everyone knows it's half anyhow. Expand the brackets. What do we have? Should I do it slow? Because of the stupid mistakes, you've seen me do it. I'm going to write the 4 first. I'm going to write the root 3 and 2 second. I'm going to put the cos x. I'm going to write the 4 first. I'm going to write the half second. And I'm going to write the sine x third. And then, because of people's trouble with fractions, oh my goodness. The 2 can cancel with a 4, and we're left with 2 root 3 cos x. And I haven't even looked at what the right hand side is, because I know unless I made something stupid mistake, I'm going to say that equals the right hand side. Oops, right hand side, which is therefore true. So we've proven that that is that. Now, by the way, if I wanted to, I could pick any number I want for x. I could pick pi on 2, I could put whatever I want in there and show it's true, but that's not. Proving that's true. Question one done. Now, now we need questions. You just, write the formula, you just write the formula down and you get the question. There's A. There's oh. B. What's the formula for tan of A minus B? It is, ready for it? And the tan of A B, yeah. minus the tan of B, B over one. 1 plus. And minus stays on top of tan, opposite on the bottom. Tan. tan, tan, tan. B. Oh. I seem to be right now. Yeah, I see it. So that's just tan B, huh? Minus okay. one. Can you imagine how many people get this question wrong because it's just too obvious? Mm. And that's the right hand side. I didn't even write down the initial line. I probably should be fussy so I don't need that one there, so it looks the same as that. Therefore, true. Two questions done. So at the end of my videos, I'm going to start putting this. A lot of people keep on saying, can you make extra videos on calculus, on trigonometry, all sorts of topics, factorization. And I want to just briefly show you a quick look at my channel here. So if you scroll down, you have year seven, class seven. And I've got this click here. So you can go across and look at a lot of the playlists. But often I have more playlists than what Google will allow me covers a lot of topics so that's class seven year seven grade seven first year of high school for a lot of people then class eight there's a lot here now by the way if i do click on that you get an idea of how many playlists i've got well, there's so many uh, equations rates and ratios it goes on and on now a lot of my videos i have them in logical order so once you open them up you'll see there's a like a beginning very basic video going through to the harder concepts so then you get the year 9 and 10. Now in Australia we have this unusual situation where year 10 splits up into two groups and we have an extension or an advanced class. So I've got a separate section for 9 and 10 
which doesn't quite go so far as the 10A. So each of those go a lot further. And then you have at least lower level. Oh, by the way, I've got this one here. If you have a look at this one here called One Minute Maths, uh, the One Minute Maths themselves are fantastic and helpful for people if you want to have a look at them. I've also got this my recent best videos. If you want to help me with my view hours, which is what I really need help with, is if you go through and play some of those and leave them running and press like or make a comment or just watch them for your own sake, that's a really good way to get it going. I'll add more to it. Now we have a low level course called Essentials in Western Australia and then we have one that's slightly academic called Applications. You can go look at the topics later. Then we have this, in, in, well not unusual, it's probably the same in a lot of countries. We have a double maths. So if you pick the highest one that's called Specialist, you got to pick the next lower one down, which is called Methods here in Western Australia. So if you have a look at the topics, it's got calculus, differentiation, factorization, and graphs, and all sorts of things. Of course, you can click here, and you get a lot more videos. Um, then it gets really serious, and that's called this Specialist Maths. That's where you, if I click on here, that's where you're getting uh, logistic model, simple harmonic motion, 2D, 3D vectors, complex numbers. That's a serious level maths. A lot of it applies to students at university, especially students in first year engineering, and they hadn't done the highest level when they were in year 11, 12. Uh, a lot of students are finding it very helpful there. Again, if you can get me some view hours on things, that'd be fantastic. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.